Welcome to Feature of the Week. Today we talk about text framing, which of course you can also use to border complete paragraphs. Typically, I use these to have something stand out in my text. So in this runoff text, maybe I want this paragraph to stand out. So first that I do is I actually make it its own paragraph. And then it's very easy to apply paragraph border. So just put your cursor into that paragraph, don't select anything, go to the tab text shading, and here in the second part on the right side, you can just apply a paragraph border, like this. That was easy, but I don't like that there is a line at the top and at the bottom, so I'm just going to click these away. Also, what I want to do is in my paragraph, I want to specify an indent of five millimeters at the left and at the right. And you can see that the paragraph frame is automatically adjusting. It's also maybe single this out a bit by having one millimeter in distance to the paragraph above and the paragraph below. Okay, so that looks already quite nice, but I don't like that my text and my frame are so close to each other, they're actually touching each other. So I go back to my text shading frame, and what I can do now is I just give this an offset. So you can see that at both sides, the line is moving out by one millimeter. And of course, I'm not restricted to solid lines. I can also make this a dotted line, I can create my own line style in Quark Express, or I can give this a color maybe the Quark Express 2017 color. So that actually gives us the effect that we wanted to have, that this stands out a bit more. A typical thing also is that you just, like I did in the beginning, frame a whole paragraph. Well, the problem now here I could see is I have several paragraphs and I want all of these paragraphs, maybe let's have them centered, all of the paragraphs, so the whole text, to be surrounded by one paragraph frame. Well, I didn't use soft returns everywhere, so these are actually three paragraphs. The good thing is that Quark Express is clever to do this automatically for you. So you select paragraph, Quark Express does that for you automatically when you select several paragraphs, and then you just apply one text frame and all of them are being surrounded by a single border. And of course, this isn't restricted to paragraphs. You can also just select a single or several words, then go to text shading. Please note that here at the left, text has been automatically selected by Core Express, and you just apply a frame, maybe that's too big, to the single word or the words that you have selected. And of course, this is live. So if I don't like this, please note, and I delete this, you can see that Quark Express is actually creating, keeping the, the border around the text that I have specified. And what you should probably do is, since this works with style sheets, you can just go to style sheets and create this as your own style sheet. And then you can reapply it by just clicking on the word that you want to frame and applying the style sheet. So this, of course, also works with find change. So if you want to search for all occurrences of the word Quark Express and give this a border, then you just find the next one, apply it, or change all in your whole layout and have automatically applied a frame also just around the text. Of course, that also works with paragraph frames or paragraph borders. Core Express 2017 is the first layout application to allow text frames and text borders. Text frames can frame individual characters or complete words, and of course also border a complete paragraph. You can apply any line style, give it any color, specify the width, and also whether you want to see it on all sides of the paragraph or only on two or one. These text frames are intelligent, so if you have consecutive paragraphs with the same 
border definition, they get joined and you just get one border, just as you expect it. It's important to note that when you create a text frame, Quark Express could create a text frame or a paragraph frame. For that, it's important that you choose the right kind of frame at the beginning of the measurement palette in that little pop-up that is shown here. Quark Express helps you by pre-selecting. So if you put the cursor in a text paragraph, then Quark Express selects the paragraph attribute because it assumes you want to border the paragraph. If you select several paragraphs, Quark Express also pre-selects the paragraph frame, which you can always change. And if you select one or more characters or one or more words, then Quark Express assumes that you want to create a text frame.